bread lovers, baking, especially bread, has always been my passion. We are bread lovers in our house, so I bake bread almost once a week. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful bread and you're going to love the simplicity of this recipe. All that you need besides your ingredients, of course, is a Dutch oven or any other heavy oven proof pot with a lid. Dutch oven traps and uses the steam released from the dough to develop that crispy crust we all love. So let's see the recipe and the ingredients we need. 350 grams bread flour, 150 grams whole wheat flour, 385 milliliters water room temperature, 1 tablespoon olive oil, 1 teaspoon sugar, 1 teaspoon salt, 35 grams dry sourdough yeast. This product contains 70% dry wheat flour sourdough and 30% active dry yeast and the manufacturer recommends to use 7 grams for every 100 grams of flour. So for my 500 grams flour I'm going to use 35 grams of this dry sourdough yeast. Alternatively, you can substitute this 7 grams active dry yeast. In that case, just remember to adjust the recipe, adding 2 additional tablespoons of flour. And if you prefer to reduce the amount of yeast, you will have to slow the fermentation process. If you want to know more about this subject, check out the link below the video in the description box. And now let's start with the recipe. Pour the water in the bowl of a stand mixer with a dough hook attached. Add the flour starting with the whole wheat first, then add the bread flour and mix on speed 1 just to combine. Cover and let the dough rest for 30 minutes to an hour. This resting period is called autolyse. During this time, the flour absorbs the water and the gluten strands begin to develop and therefore the kneading time can be reduced. Less kneading means less oxidation so the dough will have a better crumb structure and better flavor. After the autolyse period is over, turn mixer on low speed again and add the remaining ingredients. Dry sourdough, sugar, salt and the oil. Now turn the speed of the mixture to medium and knead for 4 to 5 minutes more. Due to its high hydration, the dough will remain soft and slightly sticky. But that's a positive thing, moisture is an important factor in achieving a soft crumb and a delicious crispy crust. Place the dough into a grease bowl, cover and set aside at room temperature to rise until double in volume. Meanwhile, dust your proofing basket with flour. If you don't have a rising basket, use a colander or a bowl lined with a well flour cloth. Once your dough is risen, transfer to a flour surface and start folding the dough over itself by gently pulling and folding the edge of the dough toward the middle. Keep your hands lightly flour and use a dough scraper if necessary. Turn the dough seam side down and tighten the shape by cupping your hands around the dough and spinning it several times to create a round shape. Place the dough into the proofing basket upside down, cover and let rise until double about 30 minutes. During this time, preheat your oven to 230 degrees Celsius with the Dutch oven inside with the lid on. Once the dough has risen, very carefully remove the pot from oven, take off the lid and quickly flip the dough into the hot pot upside down. 
using a very sharp knife or a bread blade, score the top of the dough, then replace the lid and bake for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, lower the temperature to 210 degrees Celsius, remove the lid and bake for another 25 minutes until the top is golden brown and crusty and sounds hollow when topped on the bottom. Lift the bread out of the pot and place it on a rack to cool completely. Allow the bread to cool to room temperature before slicing. Can say enough great things about this Dutch oven, it will literally change the way you bake bread. The steam and the high temperature inside the pot created this beautiful rustic bread with a chewy, crunchy crust and a perfect open crumb structure. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.